In this demo, we are going to cover how DGraph detects transactions and makes intervention. In particular, we are going to see how a conflicting transaction is detected and aborted. So let's start with a fresh uh, DGraph instance and we will, go in, we will be adding a um, few predicates. So let's say a person who has a name attribute, which is a string, right? And let's imagine that this person has some kind of an account where there's a balance. This could be in dollars uh, or any other uh, currency. We will keep it as type int. Great. Now let's create Alice in the system who has an initial balance of $10. Great. Looks like this has gone through. Good. Now let us simulate a conflicting transaction. Let's imagine that Alice goes to a shop and tries to purchase some mints and beverages in a some kind of a parallel manner. Right? So when this transaction starts, both these transactions will see a particular balance and then they will try to update this balance based on the cost of the transaction. The mint costs $8 or rather $7 and that's why the balance that is being set is 3 while the beverage costs $8 and the balance is being set to 2. So let's try and observe how this transaction will run concurrently and where a conflict can occur. So first I'm going to initialize the mint transaction and check the balance. So I'm, for convenience I have copied the code here so I'm going to copy this and paste this. Right so here we go. So through this Python console, we've queried the balance of Alice. Right? So if you look at the result, you should see a balance of $10. Great. Let's do the same in the beverage transaction. Let's see what balance beverage transaction sees. So we're going to the second console here. And if you check the balance, it should be $10, right? Great. Now let's actually start sending the transaction to dgraph. That's let's send the new balance after deducting the cost of a mint. So this is the piece of code which does that. I will go to the mint transaction console here and paste this. Great, looks like the mint transaction is now staged. It's not yet committed, uh, but it's available at the dgraph uh, level. So let's now do the same for the beverage transaction. Go to the beverage window here and paste this. Great, looks like both these transactions are now running concurrently. At this point, because the same UID and the same edge or predicate that is balance is being updated, dgraph will start complaining if we commit both these transactions together. But let's first see how dgraph is looking at these transactions. So let's just type out the result after we had done the request and you would see a key here. This key is calculated based on the UID of Alice as well as the balance being modified. Let's do the same for the beverage transaction. Here is the key for and, and the predicate involved. Now if you compare the key between the mint transaction and the beverage transaction, you will see the same exact key. This is a signal to our dgraph that there might be an inconsistency if both these transactions commit. So we will go ahead and try to commit both of them and see what happens. So here's mint transaction commit. Great. It looks like this has gone through. We can check the balance of Alice. It's $3. What happens to the beverage transaction?
this causes an abort. That's because DGraph has detected a conflicting key and it is signaling back to the client that whatever information you have viewed and modified in this transaction might have gone off sync to what you think the information is. Right? In this case, in the real world, it would end up with a negative balance, which is obviously an error. This is how DGraph can help you detect conflicts in transaction and you can do, use these exception for any re remedial action you want to take on the client side. Thank you.